When you pause to consider the sheer size and vastness of the observable universe, not to mention what we can't observe in any possible multiverses, as well as the age of the universe, then the only logical conclusion is that there must be countless other alien life forms out there, from simple bacteria-like organisms to alien fish and trees, all the way up to fully technologically advanced alien civilizations, a whole host of separate alien species. We know this to be true from close encounters with the fourth kind and from direct psychic telepathic communications. How many different alien races are there? There could be millions of different alien species out there, but the first and most obvious ones we shall look at are the Zetans, or as they are more commonly known, the Greys. This is the alien race that is the most in the public consciousness. They are often described as hairless, skinny-bodied, enormous-headed, almond-eyed, big-brained, grey-skinned aliens with no nose, ears or genitals. They hail from the planet Zeta Ructuli, hence the name Zetans. Around half of all reported alien encounters are with the greys. This is the species that allegedly crash-landed on Earth at Roswell. A number of publications contain statements from individuals who claimed to have seen the US military handling a number of unusually proportioned, bald, child-sized beings. Notorious for their violent nature, the next alien civilization we shall be looking at is the Matra. It would be fair to say that they are not a pleasant race. The Matra are feared in the universe as they are known to have a reputation as ruthless planet conquerors. They are known for their nasty habit of invading lesser developed planets, depleting all of their natural resources, destroying their ecosystems, and devouring, experimenting, raping, and enslaving their people. They are described as an insectoid race of parasites around 7 feet tall with a tough shell-like exoskeleton. Bad news for anyone who was planning on using bullets against them should they ever decide Earth is next on their list to be conquered. Unlike the greys, the Matra are reported to have both sets of genitals. It does make me wonder who exactly is cataloguing alien genitals. If you are a fan of David Icke and his work, you will already be aware of the Anunnaki or the reptilians as they are more commonly known. Like the Matra, the Anunnaki are a warrior race feared throughout the galaxy for their ruthless reputation. The Anunnaki are a cold-blooded, humanoid reptilian race with the ability to shapeshift. Ike says that the reptilians are among us right now, here, today, and they are responsible for the oppression of humankind through family bloodlines dating back to ancient times. Human beings were created, that is invented, by a genetic experiments that were conducted by the reptilian aliens. These reptilian aliens, also known as the Anunnaki, the reptilians still rule the earth to this day. In fact, the reptilians have indoctrinated you so thoroughly that you are probably too weak-minded to even fathom that they exist via religion, science, and other forms of indoctrination, i.e. brainwashing. The reptilians have steered you and the rest of humanity in the opposite direction of the truth, to the point where the concept of an alien master or creator is considered to be the ultimate fantasy. Could humanity really be under the control of these multi-dimensional, shape-shifting, blood-drinking paedophile lizards without us even being aware of it? Conspiracy theorists say so. That the serpent mentioned in the Bible is a metaphor for the Anunnaki. That the Egyptian gods with their amazing forms could be Anunnaki overlords. Even now, in the modern day, they are linked with the Illuminati and Freemason groups. The last of these alien races which we are going to look at today is the Pleiadans, or as they are more commonly known, the Nordics. The Nordic race, who hail from planet Asgard in the stellar system surrounding the Pleiades stars, are human-like in appearance. Tall and slender with blonde hair and blue eyes, Aryan almost you could say, and are a peaceful race, un-Aryan like you could say. They are reported to be in excellent physical condition. They are sometimes described as wearing skin-tight clothing. 
It is believed that they have visited the earth on a number of occasions throughout history and inspired the legends of Norse mythology. Alien abductees have described our Nordic space brothers as alien magical beings who want to observe and communicate with humans. Contactees have also said that the Nordics are very concerned about the Earth's environment and the prospects for world peace and they are known to transmit messages telepathically. This ability to transmit telepathic messages is very interesting and I would love to make contact with one of their telepaths. If any Nordic aliens are watching this video then please get in contact with me. Some people believe that the Nordic race are associated with, were in contact and even traded with the sunken lost city of Atlantis which used their alien crystal technology to establish itself as a global power before the disaster which destroyed the city. It has even been suggested that dolphins are from the Nordic planet of Asgard and are here to observe us and relay information to their alien masters. Do you know of any other alien races? I would love to hear from you if you have information regarding other alien races and civilizations that exist out there in the universe. Please leave a comment in the section below or come to the forum psychicinvestigation.forumotion.com.